presentation is about rapid palatal expanders, which are used to correct crossbites or to create additional space. So if you have any concerns with your expander, then have a look in the brochure we gave you when you first got it on. And I'll also go through some of the more common problems that people encounter with an expander now. With a rapid palatal expander, the expander sits in the roof of your mouth and there is a device in the centre that you will turn on a regular basis with the key we provide you. This is usually turned once per day for roughly a month, but we'll provide you with the date that we want you to stop turning your expander on. Now a turn comes from the front to the back of the mouth, which widens the appliance and your top jaw. So quite a large gap can open between your top front teeth, and this is normal. But when you stop turning the expander, the gap will usually start to close by itself, and this is also normal. Doing a turn coming from the front of the mouth, you need to turn it all the way to the very back so that it hits the metal part of the back, and then remove it going backwards. Some people, when doing turns, make the mistake of turning it to the back, but then, instead of taking it out backwards, they start to pull it back towards the front, so they've really only done half a turn. To correct this, you need to find and replace the key in the hole and turn it all the way backwards the rest of the way. Now, if for some reason you miss a turn, then instead of doing two turns on one day, simply add a day onto the date that we set to stop turning the expander. If it should feel like it's loose or broken, then stop the turns and give us a call straight away so we can organise to get you in and check it for you. We hope that helps you on your way to a broad, beautiful smile. But if you have any other questions, then please give us a call.